Welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time watching, thanks for tuning in. So today we're not gonna be doing our normal PC repair, use parts, stuff like that. Got a Steam Deck. In fact, this is my Steam Deck. And I love this thing. I've had it for several years. And the best way I could describe the Steam Deck, which is in my opinion, it's just convenient. It is convenient, gaming on the go, and it's been working real great. Really enjoy it. So let's kind of rewind back a little bit. A couple of years ago, um, my Steam Deck stopped working on me. The black screen of death. And we're gonna talk exactly about what it is, um, how to diagnose it, how to fix it, and all that type of stuff in this video. So stay with me. But had the black screen of death, and well, now my Steam Deck was useless. So I reached out to Valve, and you know, they said do this, that, and the other, XYZ, turn it upside down, you know, Hail Marys, all that type of good stuff. Long story short, that didn't work, and they said, RMA made it back. Well, I was still under the warranty, so it was good. R made it back, got a new one, and well, now it works fine. So fast forward to most recently, um, once to use the Steam Deck and well, black screen of death. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what leads to that. So reached out to Valve saying, hey, it's doing this. They're like, it's outside of the warranty, sorry, but there's a company that we use, they'll fix it. They're gonna charge you $120 before tax and then $185 before tax, just depending on the level of repair that it requires. And I'm like, really? This thing still sort of works. It makes no sense. So in today's video, if you're having the black screen of death, I'm going to show you how to fix it, how to determine if you have this issue, and hopefully using this knowledge, you can actually make a couple of dollars as I've seen a bunch of these show up used lately for dirt cheap. So let's get started. So full disclaimer, your mileage may vary just depending on how this is going to work. In the past couple of weeks, I've actually picked up six of these that I've been able to fix, charge a couple of dollars, and all six of them came back to life. There was one little deviation, which we'll talk about that during the process. But for the most part, this has been very successful. So what is the black screen of death? So pretty much what happens is, is that if the Steam Deck stays um, not charged for a prolonged period of time, I've seen it happen as little as two weeks. Some people saying it's about a month to two months. It just depends. I've never seen it happen after a couple of days, but if it's been discharged for a long period, uh, a decent period of time and you haven't been able to charge it, well, you end up with this black screen of death. So how do you know if what we're about to do is gonna work? So first things first, we gotta get some preliminaries on it. Number one, does it charge? You plug it in, oops, wrong cable. Plug it in just like so. And if you see the light going on, that means you're charging. You're off to a good start right there. Now, the next thing you need to do is, does the Steam Deck show signs of life? And what I mean is, do you still get the haptic feedback? Do you hear the little ticka, 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 whatever it's called or whatever sound it's making? If you're hearing that and feeling that, the fans are turning on and it, looks, and it seems like your Steam Deck is working just minus the screen, then this repair is gonna work for you. Now, if it's not charging or none of that and it has no signs of life, this will not work for you. So now, after you decided that, yep, there is hope and I am getting life in it, first thing you need to do is, number one, if it's under warranty, send it back to Valve. Their RMA process is pretty good just from my experience. I sent mine back, I got it a week later, and it worked out pretty good. You know, it makes no sense to go through this headache unless you want to, but if it's under warranty, they'll fix it. Now, word of advice, if you're going to send it back, whatever modifications that you've done, like, you know, upgrading the M.2 and maybe Hall effect sensors and stuff like that, undo it because most of the time they're gonna replace it and they're gonna send you a new one and all the nice stuff that you got in it is gonna be gone. There's a guy right now that has a nice one terabyte M.2 from my last rig, so keep that in mind. So the easiest thing to go ahead and try to do first, which is this is what everybody says, and I found this method really not to work, but give it a shot, do the hard reset. Hold the minus button, the dot, 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 and then hit the power button, and it's gonna go on, you're gonna see it flashing. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes. It might work, it might not work. Some people have said they've tried it multiple times. Um, I have found it not to work for me. So the issue going on with it, just based upon my research, has been the firmware. Apparently, you need to have firmware F7A0121 or higher, and that is supposed to correct this issue. You need to get that firmware updated. Once it is, once it is updated, then your Steam Deck will come back to life but you're probably saying, well, how do I do it if I got no screen? Glad you ask. Now, depending on how hardcore of a Steam Deck person you are, um, I'm not that hardcore, you'll have a dock that has the USB-C, the USB, and the uh, HDMI port to hook it up to your TV. Those are like 30 to $50, depending on the flavor you get. I picked this one up 
not sponsored or anything. Ivanki, Ivanki, paid like $12 for it on Amazon. And it's a USB-C to HDMI. Now the key that you need to have is, is that it needs to have a USB-C over here so you could be able to display it on the monitor or screen that you're gonna use and that you're able to charge it. This thing needs to stay charged while you're doing all this stuff. You do not wanna lose the charge. Now this step is important because if you plug it into an external monitor and it's still not working, then at this point, there's not much that you can really do outside of really diving deep into it, possibly repairing parts. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna plug this into my monitor over here to the HDMI port. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug our USB-C charging right into it. And that way we're fully charged. All right. And then this will go into our USB-C, just like so. And now we're ready to go. Now with all that being set up, go ahead and hit the power button, fire it up like you normally would. Let me turn my monitor on. And as you can see, there's hope. We're still getting the screen using an external monitor. So now that you've connected your external display, it's up and running, we're gonna actually use the Steam Deck to control it, and we're gonna to go to the menu. Hit your Steam button, go straight to the menu, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to Settings. You're gonna to go to System, and right over here under System Settings, Enable Developer Mode. Now, I've already done this, and I've gotten the Steam Deck working using this method, so my stuff is gonna be already set up. Once you've enabled developer mode, go down to developer and you're going to look for show advanced update channels. Just keep scrolling down right over here. Enable that show advanced update channels. Once that is enabled, go back up to system. And where it says OS update channel, make sure it is set to main. Now up here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna check for updates or it should have it already. So go ahead, check for updates. My updates have already been applied, but I'll post it on the screen. You'll have an exclamation point. It says software updates. And as of the date of recording this, which we're at February 3rd or 4th, the latest update that showed up was January 28th. And that has the latest update that we need to get this thing working. Once you see that, hit apply the software update. It's gonna take a few minutes and restart. During this time, make sure your Steam Deck is plugged in, it is fully charged and or charging, and you do not disconnect the monitor. Once it's completed the update, go back to systems, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down over here and make sure that we have the latest BIOS version. As you can see on mine, we have F7A0131. You need to make sure that you have F7A0121 or higher as that update is what I have found has resolved this issue. Once the updates are done, your bio version is correct. What you're gonna do is you're gonna force power off your Steam Deck. You're gonna take the power button, just like so, hold it for about 15 seconds. and now it's shut off. So now we no longer need the monitor for anything. So we're gonna unplug this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug our Steam Deck in just like so, so it's charged. Like I said, the key is to make sure that this thing is charged. So now that it's still off, then what we need to do is we need to use recovery mode. The way you get into recovery mode is that you're gonna hold the volume down button, the three dots, dot, 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 and then tap the power button. During this time, you'll see the charging light, it'll be flashing on and off, on and off, nice and steady. And at this point, you wait for 15 minutes. Now, after you've waited the 15 minutes, go ahead, hit your power button, fire it up, and your Steam Deck should come back to life. Now, on a couple of the ones that I did, it didn't work right away, and I had to use recovery mode again, tapping the volume down, the three dots, 
and the uh, power button. One of them, I had to let it sit for about 30 minutes. And then when I hit the power button, it came back to life. I've had an average of between 15 to 30 minutes, but either way, I've had all six of them come back to life. And now your Steam Deck should be as good as new. If you're outside of the warranty, you don't need to pay the expensive fees and you're ready to go. So now a few things to recap. Number one, is this a guarantee that it's going to work for you? No, for me, it's worked. I've had six of them come in. This is my personal one. This was the first one that I experimented on. I should have recorded the other ones, but I have found that this has worked with all of them. I've tried every other method. This is the only method that I found that works. And I found it in a forum from over a year ago and it's been solid. Now, is this the ultimate final fix? I'm not 100% sure if this issue is gonna happen if the battery sits for a couple of weeks or even a couple of months, and then you're gonna have to do this again. Some knowledge that I have read and I have found online is that it does fix that issue as long as you have firmware uh, 121 or higher. So just kind of keep that in mind. But to kind of recap, just make sure that before you even go down this rabbit hole, the thing is charging, it's holding a charge, it's powering up, you're getting the haptic feedback, and if you plug it into an external display, you get the display, then you know that this method could potentially work for you. Now, how can you make a couple of dollars with this? Well, considering that Valve's company is charging $120 to $180 just to fix this, and they're probably doing the same thing that um, we're doing in this, you could definitely cut that out. Um, I've been charging $60 for this. $60, it takes me probably 30 to 45 minutes, just depending on how long that 15 minute wait period is and if I have to redo that again. Um, 30 to 45 minutes, $60, no parts required. And like I said, I've done, well, including mine, technically I've done five for other people, easy money. Now the other avenue too that I've seen and um, I'm waiting on them to come in, um, I've had a couple of people reach out to me with their broken Steam Deck, same issue. Um, and I bought it further for about $100. Steam Deck goes for about three to $400 used or maybe two to $300, but if I get one for about 100 bucks, I can easily double my profit. The key to remember is haptic feedback, the fans are going on, the thing is charging, and it gets an external display. Um, typically, uh, the ones that I've ordered, they said that their haptic feedback is working and that they hear the fans coming on, but no screen, so that's been pretty good. So. I'm gonna pick up a couple of these using these methods and then I'll just go ahead and flip it. So if you got a Steam Deck that meets all these requirements, you're outside the warranty, instead of chucking it, giving up on it, or even selling it, try to fix it yourself. It's pretty easy. Like I said, it's worked for me. It may work for you. Don't be afraid and it could work out good for you. So comment down below, let me know your thoughts, concerns, criticisms. In your opinion, do you think Valve should actually cover this? Here's my thought. It's not a defective part. The screen works, battery works, everything works. It's an issue with firmware. I think they should cover that. Definitely like to get your opinion. And what are your thoughts on the Steam Deck? If you like this video, definitely hit the like button, subscribe if you're not. And as always, we'll see what we come up with.